Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be going over a unique fountain pen case from Storio I found during my previous trip to Japan. Right off the bat, this case is beautiful and is superbly well put together as you'll see from the close-ups throughout the video. The pen case is very solid and was made with a high attention to detail. This definitely comes across when handling the case day to day, making the case feel extremely premium. It comes in two colorways, with the other being a reverse color scheme to mine. There are also 1, 2 and 3 pen variants, with dots on the top of the case indicating the number of pens within it. The case has two main parts, the main body and a carriage with pen slots. The case and carriage are made from a combination of dyed and undyed maple, sourced locally within Japan, making each case look slightly different due to the natural wood grain, while the pen slots are made from leather. The carriage can be removed from the main body by depressing a clip on the back of the carriage as it slides on a rail and the clip prevents it from coming out completely during normal use. Each of the slots are individually made from a single piece of leather and uses a flap design. The inner surface of the leather is very soft so it shouldn't scratch your pens when sliding them in and out. The bottom end of each of the slots are sewn closed so your pen never contacts any wood during storage. The rail mechanism is very well made, with all areas from the carriage to the inside of the main body being very clean. Absolutely no random nicks or stray glue residues at all even in the areas where your eyes would almost never see. The carriage slides smoothly and clicks firmly into place when fully extended or retracted. To reinsert the carriage, just line up the carriage rails with the slots in the body and slide it in. There will be a click when the carriage has slipped far enough to reach its normal open position. You can continue pushing the carriage in to close the case. the range of pens, some common ones and some larger ones to hopefully give you guys a feel of the size of pens that can fit within the case if you're interested in picking one up. Using the case is easy, just open the carriage and slide the pen in. You can spread the leather flaps apart for larger pens. A couple of gripes I have with the case. Firstly, pens are not held firmly in place and are free to slide up and down within the slot which can be an issue for smaller pens, such as the Kaweco. Another annoyance is that because each slot uses a flap design, sometimes the flaps don't close up all the way after removing or putting a pen back in, which hinders closing the case. So you definitely have to check the flaps every time you remove or put the pen in the case, which honestly isn't really a big deal, but something you have to be aware of. You can see me fumbling with this when I put some of the pens in. Out of all of the pens, only the Opus 88 didn't fit as it was too thick. I do have to mention that the case has held up very well to daily use. I got mine over a year ago, and despite the heavy use, it still looks pristine. To give you guys an idea of how I use it, I don't baby the case in any way, and just place it in my bag in the same compartment with the rest of my items. I just make sure that there's nothing too hard or heavy, such as a bottle, in the same compartment so nothing can really hit it. I'll leave links in the description on where you can pick one up. It did come with a 1 year warranty, but I believe it's only valid in Japan.
Here's a demonstration of how securely the carriage is held in. When the top of the case is facing down with pens in it, it can withstand minor shakes and bumps, but anything more will cause the carriage to slide open. The pens won't fall out of the slot, but this is definitely an area of improvement for case design. I do have to be honest that this has actually never happened to me while the case was in my bag. Overall, this is an amazingly built case and is very beautiful that's worth every penny in my opinion. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can buy one. Thanks for watching and check out some of my other videos.